cities continue to be the threshold of community activity and the engine of economic growth in our country. We need to provide them the resources to make those investments, to move into the future free of the choking of congestion. The purpose of the organization that Jeanette Sadiq Khan created and which Minneapolis joins today is to be inter, intermodal, interactive, intercommunicative, and that is essential. You don't need to look abroad to find uh, innovative transportation practices. You can take a look at what's going on in Phoenix. You can take a look at what's going on right here in Minneapolis. You don't need to go overseas to see what's going on in terms of developing bike-friendly cities. You can take a look at New York. You can take a look at Chicago. You can take a look at Portland. And I think that these homegrown examples show that the U.S. can be a world-class leader in infrastructure quality, mobility, safety, and sustainability. We're standing here, obviously, uh, looking out at something that is a thing of remarkable beauty to me and I hope to many other people. It's a street, but it's a whole lot more than that because it used to look pretty bad at rush hour. You would see one lane of buses all jammed up, belching smoke out, crowded sidewalks, pedestrians trying to get by bus riders, and it just didn't work. That has now changed. Because of the, the partnership we had first in this region in getting cities and suburbs to agree to the same idea, the partnership with the single most important person in transportation in the United States, which is Congressman Oberstar, uh, we were able to secure a $133 million grant to remake Marquette in second and then begin building bus rapid transit into 35W. The track record of Minneapolis and the Twin Cities in promoting walkability, uh, bikeability, and uh, public transit makes them a fabulous new member uh, of the NACTO community. Mm -hmm.